around the badge. But don't just start flinging your gimbal around. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually film a car from start to finish. We're filming this really sexy, what is it? Go for our line. <laughs> We're gonna keep this so simple for you guys. I'll keep making the same mistakes over and over again. And then when we go to editing, I'll teach you how to make a simple start to finish speed ramp cut. We're shooting with the Sony A7C, this Moza Aircross 3 and a dual handle grip. I know some of you guys don't have the dual handle grip, but that's fine. Just do use what you can. You know what I mean? Cool. All right. So we set this car up here. There's actually a little bit of thinking that goes into the setup. I actually set the car up so that we have some leading lines. So as you can see on the camera, there's leading lines, you know, make it look cool. Like a picture. I like to always start with wide angles. Do wide angles, get the wide angles from each side of the car, and then you can slowly move into close-ups. And at the end, once you've done all of that, and get into the really fun robot move, but don't just start flinging your gimbal around like an <laughs> idiot, because you're just gonna get back to the editing room and punch the screen. You know what I mean? So when I'm doing these wide angles, I think it's fine to do them looking down a bit. So if I go on the camera here, I usually start, I like to go around and just turn. You see my feet are walking in the direction that I'm going. I'm not doing that because you're just gonna trip. I'm not like an absolute idiot. <laughs> I like to have the gimbal kind of turn to the right and then as I walk to the right, the gimbal turns to the left. So I'm doing this kind of like an, like an orbit around the car as I'm turning. And you see, it looks pretty decent. You can imagine how it's gonna look like in the edit. So I'll do that for this corner, for this corner, like that. Actually, sometimes it's easier to go backwards and do it. So sometimes you can start here and walk backwards and do the same effect, you know? So I like to do those two corners. I might do the back, but should I do the back? What did he say? Same thing, go around it, so like this. Just make sure that you have a focal point, right? I'm focusing here on the headlights. So the headlight is in the center. So I'm going around the headlight, okay? If I do it for the badge, same thing, you know, focus on the badge. Go around the bag. I see some of you going around the car, there's nothing in the center, right? There's no focal point. Once you've done the, the quadrants, what you can do is you can start somewhere close and do the same thing, but start walking backwards. So for example, I start here and I can start walking back and revealing the car. But I like to take this a step further and actually change the angle of the car. So what I like to do is I flip my gimbal like this, boom, flip these handles. Okay, all right, I get the screen out. All right, okay. And see now I'm much lower around the car. And what I can do is I can start close to the car, the headlight, and I can move back and go around. And what's great about this is you actually get the ground in the shot and the ground moves. So you really feel that speed, that kind of change in motion. So if you're speed ramping, it'll look really cool. And again, I have a focal point. The focal point here is the headlight, all right? I could do the wheel, right? I could do the wheel. From the wheel, I can come back, you see, and turn, okay? I can go around the wheel. Just make sure that there's a focal point, all right? It could be the wing mirror. It could be a wing mirror, right? Wing mirror. You see, the principle applies. I'm going around and I'm coming towards it, or I start close to it and I'm walking backwards. Okay? When I'm actually filming a car properly for a client or something, I like to do the shots over and over again before I even press record, just to make sure that I have the movement right and I'm not just improvise. But obviously when you get to my level, right? Level 300 XP, you can just do it from the get-go. But don't just focus on one side of the car, do the same thing for the other side. So you can start the headlight here, move backwards and turn. You can see that I'm actually turning as I'm moving. I'm turning the, hori the horizon as I'm moving and I'm not just kind of going back straight and turning. I can still do that but it just adds another level of movement. And when you combine two levels of movement, so for example, in this case, the change in horizon and the moving forward and backwards, it just looks more dynamic, in my opinion. I don't know. Okay, so now that I've done some wide shots, now it's the same thing, but much closer. up. So if your car has a nice badge like this one here, you know, we can start up close or we can move around like this, or we can do an orbit shot. So we can go around it, and this is great because if you want to use After Effects to track your objects, a really cool locked-in effect, it's much easier when you keep everything in the center. Really turn your horizon. What you want to avoid is turning and then moving, or moving and then, and then turning. 
because it looks shit when you do the speed ramps. Trust me. Trust me, daddy. You want to change the perspective. So here I'm starting quite high up. I'm going down and I'm tilting the camera up to look up. So there. What the hell? So now if your car has loads of details, tiny little fins here, then you start to get those much closer. So you start to really get in there. Like you got a logo here, same thing. So now that I've done these shots, now what I'm going to do is go from one place of the car to another place of the car. You want to think about the momentum of the video. You don't want to kind of come like this and then have to turn the camera and then go down, right? Because there's a lot of changes in motion. If I start, for example, say I go towards the headlight, like this. From here, I want to go to the Volkswagen logo and I'm following the same motion. I'm now going to go to the logo like this. And then if I want to, I can then readjust like that. Like Bruce Lee said, yeah, flow like water. Okay, so he goes, headlight, logo, logo. And this basically warms you up for doing the robot shot. So you're going from one side to another and in the robot shot, it's just doing it for different locations with different perspectives. So for example, if I'm doing a, one of those robot type shots, I might walk towards the logo like this. Then I might turn, look up like that. Feels like the Kendrick Lamar music video. You're making these really extreme changes in perspective. Pretend you're a robot. I'll do another example. I can come up to this side piece here, go to the R-Line logo, then go to the wheel like this, and then I can end on a wide shot of the car, okay? From this point, once you've done these shots, you can experiment with whatever you want. You can fly around the car like your Superman, you know what I mean? You can try different things, but if you do that at the end, you've at least got a selection of shots that you can make a video with. If you do that at the beginning, you're gonna get all lost, and you're gonna get upset when you get on the computer. <laughs> So all these shots are enough for you to make a pretty decent edit. But before every great edit, you need great music. And if you make videos for clients or on YouTube, you're going to need royalty-free music that also makes your head bop. Which is why I recommend Epidemic Sound. The epic library with over 40,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects. The place I use for my music and sound design in my professional project. But are you sick of spending ages on finding the perfect song? Well, with their new sound match feature, that time is slashed. Simply upload your video and get matching music recommendations in no time. Soundtracking like a pro has never been easier. Soundmatch analyzes your video's tone, mood, and rhythm, delivering a curated selection of soundtracks that takes your video to the next level. And my favorite thing about Epidemic Sound is that I get AI recommendations tailored to my YouTube channel and previous downloads. And because Epidemic Sound owns 100% of their music, there's never a chance your videos will receive acclaim or takedown in the future. So just for you guys, I have partnered with them to give you an exclusive 30 day free trial that you can get by scanning this QR code or clicking the first link in the description below. So with our song selected, we can now take everything into After Effects to edit it, which leaves us with our final edit. You are now in the presence of a... King.